like his usual basic bread and butter conversions to get this. Oh, he's rocking that pink skin too. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's my favorite one. He's feeling it now. <laughs> he usually goes with default, but I like An the pick. Angry Charlie. Yeah, he's angry. All right. Or uh, what is it? Super Saiyan Rose? Super Saiyan Rose. <laughs> that's what it is. So we got game one on PS2. Classic. Classic. I feel like it's a good stage for this. Yeah. Very, very wide enough stage for Mar for Marvel's Marco to ca to throw projectiles. And enough for Charlie to, to go in with his combo. Yes. Alright, so I'm noticing right off the bat that, that Charlie is punishing uh Toon Link for his bomb pulls. That the uh Link told me that it is 67 minutes. It's, it's, it's up there. Okay. Boomerang plays, you saw that? Boomerangs are really good. They get you out of a lot of sticky situations. Like, yeah. Let's say let's say Charlie were to grab him. The boomerang will interrupt it, and the low knockback will make it true combo in this match attack. Yeah. Which is really good. It was amazing, especially a high percentage. And that was a sick uh, Zara trick that he got. Yeah, that little when it boosted him up. Ooh, a little antsy on the up beat. Charlie's yeah. going to get him there. I've noticed Marvel Marco does that a lot. Nice up. And he had the bomb just in case. Yeah. Very, very good. Oh, that was like yeah, I've noticed that Marvel's Marco does that a lot. Like, especially versus Spaces, if they come after you, uh, falling with Nair and they miss, uh, uh, immediately turn around the upbeat. Especially for Link players, because it's going to give you a kill. Oh, yeah. yeah a hitbox. All of uh, the Links have really good upbeats. Yeah. Whether it be for kills or combos. Right, right, right. Anyways, Marvel's Marco is running away with his beat. I mean, all he has to do is just throw projectiles and just rack up the damage. Oh, but that was a really good down angle. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that was a two frame? I believe so. Yeah. All right. Wow, and that that boomerang almost converted converted into the forward. Yeah. Very good stuff. That that's a really that's another really good move by Tony the F tilt. Yeah. It has a hitbox from behind. Right. And it'll always send you in front of them. So you can Up tilt is a very good hitbox too because it hits both sides. Wow, and another uh, bomb Bo boomerang, boomerang conversion into fair. Yeah. Bread and butter. Yeah, the bread and butter, uh, just like you were talking about earlier, the bread and butter uh, projectile. Those are the kill -kill -kill -kill. Yeah. You saw Charlie was respecting the boomerang. He, he was doing a little conversion, and then the boomerang was coming back, and he stopped. Right. All right, so now uh, they're kind of just dancing in neutral, but uh, Marvelous Marco with a pretty decent lead. Which is very hard. You know, versus projectile characters or zoners, once they get the lead, it's hard for you to go oh, in. Yeah, it's really hard to get, like, projectile characters are so good at holding the lead. Yeah. Charlie's has, definitely has his work cut out for him. Wow. He went really deep. That was an amazing edge run. And he had no no jump or anything to recover. That was really impressive. Yeah. Let's see if he could bring this back all the way. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. He does a little Charlie combo. Marcos. Mar Marcos is, is, is playing his game, you know, despite that he's still uh, sticking to his game plan, sticking right. to holding back, letting Charlie come in. I mean, if he has a boomerang on deck, I mean a bomb on deck, he could he could do it. He could do stuff. Shield boomerang. But now he has him on the ledge. Let's see what he's got. All right, good roll. Good roll by Charlie. Got to got to get center center uh, center stage. Now Marlos Marcos needs to be careful. He's bringing the lead back really quickly. Oh, okay. One good uh, backer by the ledge should be the spot. But at the same time, one good fair from Marlos Marcos. Oh, he didn't catch the ledge. Jump. Right. That's it. Ooh, he just did a normal get up and he called I, I, him out. I, I think he made it Charlie to do the normal get up by keep dropping. By right. Keep dropping the bomb. That right. was really good. That's smart. And then and then uh the timing wasn't necessarily difficult because it lingers for so long. Yeah. He does. Yeah, it's so a multi hit. As, yeah, as soon as he dropped it, the the bomb, he knew he was gonna get that up. Yeah. Game. That was really good stuff by Marvelous Marcos. Taking it. Taking game one. Uh, did you see what stage they picked, by the way? It was PS2, bro. Oh, they PS2. oh no, oh, right now? No, no, no. Oh, no, I, I'm not too sure. I was too busy looking at Charlie. He looked a little, <laughs> little antsy. A little, little, you know, a yes. little sun. Oh, okay, okay. Back to PS2. I mean, it is a good stage. Yeah, not a bad pick. Those, uh, Charlie told me before that he really loves those platforms. Yeah. Uh, for uh, Wolf's combo extension. Combo conversions, yeah. Yeah, because I, I played with Yosha, and he, he's also pretty good Wolf. Yeah. And oh, definitely. He, 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 he does a uh, conversion song, and he also only likes to stay. Wow, and Charlie. Oh, is that a air glitch? Oh, yeah. Wow. But Charlie will take that. Uh, Mar Marco's <laughs> was, Marco was at high percent anyway. Yeah, yeah. So. But honestly, we, we'll, we'll all take that. Yeah, every, we all take those. <laughs> We're all hungry. All right, so 
now, now we have an interesting, uh, now Marcos is, uh, fighting to bring back the lead. So, right. I wonder if he'll change up the It looks like he's just throwing out hitboxes. Honestly, it looks like, he, wow. wow, never mind. That, that, move, like you said, that boomerang into fair is going to steal the deal. Bro, that's, that's, uh, that's his, uh, two versus one, bro. Yeah, definitely. Right, so just like that. Marco not being flustered by the SD and bringing it back immediately. Right. Charlie coming in with the fares. 55%. Let's see what he's got. Marco's uh, oh, he doesn't need to get those trades. He doesn't want to do shit trade. trade right oh, he just walk. You saw that? He's just walking up and just take uh, shielded that, that gun and just walk. Walk, shield, walk, shield. These players are feeling it. Yeah. You can feel the tension in between both these players. Right. Marcos is going uh Going in a little too aggro, but he does, he is at a deficit. He does need to, yeah, because yeah. he is at a deficit. Oh, now the, the, Z, the Zair works. And, and, Char and because he's at a deficit, he, like you said, he has to approach. But Charlie's really good at stuffing out approaches from other players. Yeah. Like, we talked about Marvelous Marcos holding the lead, but Charlie holding the lead is That's a whole a, other story. Yeah, it's a whole <laughs> other beast. I really like his short hops that he does. You see, you see what he's doing right now? Yeah. He's baiting Marcos to drop yeah. projectiles and punish him. Right. And like like I mentioned earlier, those bombs do have a decent amount of end lag. And I noticed Charlie does punish them, so that's good on him to know. Right. Not, not a lot of people know that they respect too many bombs a little too much. A little too much. Oh, oh he wanted to... Oh, he scared oh. him! Marcos slapping his forehead. He was not happy with that. Yeah. Really close set. Now we're going on to game three. He shook him with that down air at him. He's like, what do I do? And by the time he realized it, he was dead. Yep. Whoa. Pretty good game. Uh, we got a fist bump. All right. Respect. Respect. Yeah, right, right. That's what I like to see. I mean, she's good competitive. Good, good respect. It's always important to be a good sport. Yeah. Three, All right. We're two, going to Calus. Very, very interesting stage. Uh, it's a big stage. And so, uh, like, marvelous would benefit from this. Well. Yes, because like, there's no uh, there's no ledges in the middle to, to get comboed on. And I feel like the bigger the stage, the better for the zone. Right. That's just, just like a universal thing. Yeah. In my opinion. And it, as I was talking to Korean earlier, honestly, I think in this in, in our stage list, we give the zoners way too much. Because uh, most stages are big stages. Yeah. And like for characters like uh, Incineroar and stuff, they don't get no love. Because yeah, they benefit off a short stage. Yes. Yeah. Just like Wolf would, no? Or you think Wolf benefits from large stages as well? I would say it depends on if he can get zoned out versus him zoning others out. Right, so we, we got a relative lead. Um, I feel like whoever's whoever takes takes the stock first. Oh, this is, now I see why Marvelous picked the stage because he has a wall jump. Oh, okay, and yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, he just he just did it right now. Uh, he wall jumped to recover. Does Wolf have a yeah, Wolf has a wall jump? <laughs> no, or maybe he does. It's, it's just not great. I can't believe I don't remember, but if he does, <laughs> it's probably not great because we would have remembered otherwise. Yeah. One twenty six. Charlie the King. Is. That back throw, not quite. That oh, strong, that bomb! bomb we see there again. Same there thing with the up B. It was the boomerang that did it this time. Yeah, this time Marvelous Marcus is really good at the ledge. Race. Yeah. And he has a lead now. Oh, wow. Charlie commentator's curse. Immediately bringing it back. With the Nair backer? Yeah. That's one thing that Charlie has. Or out of many things. <laughs> combos. Those combos are really good. Yeah. You see it on his Twitter all the time. Yeah, right? the Twitter combos? Oh, my God. And, and, and it's funny because I called him out on it, but he got me in tournament with one of those Twitter combos. Shut you right up. <laughs> yeah, those combos are not something that you see. <laughs> oh, that was a little unsafe down there. So what you're telling me is you make sure you know your DI versus Charlie the King because he will and even Twitter combo he's you. He's so good at following your DI right. that he has backup combos right. for that, which is really impressive. It's that lab, bro. Now Charlie with the lead. Marcos is kind of struggling to get in this second stock. Yeah. But the, those Zairs are coming in clutch. Get off me. Zare is a really good move by someone. Yeah. It, it, it sets up for tech chase scenario. Right. Oh, raw, raw forward smash attempt. That definitely would have been a bomb. Wall jump. Yep, he does. He does. So this is a, ooh, I felt like that would have 
and did a perfect back throw, but he decides to arrow instead. Yeah, it probably he, probably a misinput, maybe. Yeah, definitely a misinput. And Charlie taking the taking the second stop with the down angle. Yeah. All that extra damage with the projectile that he used the bomb when he right. grabbed him. Great combo now, but he interrupts it. Marvel with Marvel does with the, with, the, with an air. And that was a great roll. Yeah. Gonna get three good Oh, out of shield up. I, I think he messed up the DI. Yes, because it looked, it looked to me like Marvelous was facing to the right. Yeah, so but it, it moved him. It turned him around. It moved him around. Really interesting. I'm going to have to ask him about that later. Huh. So, nevertheless, Charlie has a pretty good lead, but it's against Tool Link. It's really not a lead. Right, honestly. Or he could just gimp him. Right, Throw him off stage. Marvelous telling his love keys. He's feeling the pressure. Yeah. He wants oh. his win. He's so close. But Charlie is not going to make it easy for him. Wow. The bomb bomb. Signal. But yeah. even, even better was the punish that Charlie got from that down tilt. Yeah. And that Nair is going to take it. That Nair is so good. That lingering hitbox. Oh, you're good. That was a really close set. But Charlie managed to take it 2-1. Marco oh. shaking his head. He, 